Hello everyone, this is Shannon for Waffle Flower Crafts. Today we're going to create this really fun valentine using Waffle Flower's new mailbox die and the very cute Sending Love stamp set. We're going to start today's card with the mailbox die. This is the awesome new mailbox die. It folds up to create this card holder that's in the shape of a mailbox. It even has an opening um, front door for the mailbox, which I think is really cute. There's also tons of different kinds of envelopes or little mails, even with little um, stamps or places for stamps. It's just really, really cool, fun set. I'm going to start with the main die and just die cut it as well as this little front door out of some gray cardstock. After I've die cut them out, I'm now going to fold them together. I'm going to use my um, scoring tool to kind of really press down those creases. The nice thing about this die is all of these score lines are created by the die itself, so it folds very easily. And there's really only three folds to create this mailbox. So after I fold this last little um, tab here, I'm going to kind of put it together with a little bit of liquid glue. You could also, of course, use a tape runner instead. I'm definitely a big fan of liquid glue. So I just added to that little tab right there and that's it. It completes my mailbox. And you can tuck that little end in there and have the mailbox closed if you want to, too. I'm going to add this little extra detail. This is not necessary. Just going to glue that front kind of um, outline to the front door of my or the door of my mailbox and then finish with these two little additional pieces on the inside. Of course, you could leave those out, but I do like kind of the streamline kind of look by leaving those or gluing those pieces in. And that completes my little mailbox. There's also, it's hard to, sell, to see maybe on camera, but there's also these little details of like, um, like where screws might go to kind of hold or seal the mailbox closed. So I think that's really cute as well. So I went ahead and die cut a whole bunch of um, envelopes out of one of the dies from the mailbox die set and I did it out of uh, three pinks and a white cardstock. Now I grabbed a little piece of micro pore tape here. I've added it to the back side of the envelope and I'm going to take all these little um, negative pieces from when I die cut these envelopes and tuck them in, kind of do some inlay die cutting here and tuck those little pieces in. This is just a nice way to add some more color to the front of the envelopes. And I'm also going to do that for the little stamps as well. This is actually like where the, the address would be. And then here are my little stamps, just grabbing again from the little negative pieces from die cutting all these envelopes. And that completes one. I'm going to repeat this process for the remaining three. And once I finish them all, I have all these beautiful little envelopes ready to fill my mailbox. I'm now going to move on to my images. So this is the super cute Sending Love stamp set. I've pulled off some of the stamps, actually stamped one of the stamps twice, as well as that cute little mouse there holding the mail. I'm going to color her with some Copics. The Copics I'm using are on screen so you can follow along. My very basic way to color with Copics is I always start with my lightest, now onto my medium shade, which is that's what I'm doing right now, and then onto my darkest shade. And after I add in kind of my shadows, then I'll go back through that set of Copics again. So I go back through with my medium and kind of blend out that transition between the dark and the medium. And then I'll finish up with my light, blending out the transition between the medium and the dark. Here I'm gonna use a couple kind of really light pinks or really light reds for the inner ear. And then I have a grouping of reds that I'm going to use for um, this little heart here as well as I'll use them on the stamps as well. I kind of have a pink set, a red set, and a light blue set that I'm going to use for these stamps. So right now I'm using the pinks and kind of coloring in some of the elements on these little stamps here, these postage stamps with those pinks. And then I'll move on to some reds and I'm adding reds now to the, um, some, of the some of the outlines, some of the background, just kind of sticking with these three kind of core colors, my blue, pink, and red to kind of keep everything cohesive. I'll bring in more of this kind of aqua blue color in the background as well. We'll do that later. I'm also using this blue aqua color for her little dress too. And then I'll finish up here with a little bit of yellow because there's a little cheese on that postage stamp. And um, once I finish that up, I'm all done. I went ahead and die cut my images out with the matching dies and now I'm going to add some of these stamps on to my envelopes. I'm going to remove here kind of that printed part of the stamp when you use it, when you use a postage stamp, just kind of cut it off with my scissors and then I adhered it on to one of my envelopes. I'm going to adhere these other tiny stamps as well. I'm just adhering them kind of right over where the postage stamps are on the envelopes. 
And this one I'm actually going to do on the opposite, opposite side just so I can see these postage stamps a little bit better when I arrange them in the mailbox. And I decided to go with those images for postage stamps because that will incorporate my stamped little mouse a little bit better. So now I'm going to create kind of the stand for my mailbox. So I have three strips of white cardstock here. Three strips are five and a half by three fourths of an inch. And I'm going to stamp here with Waffle Flowers wood grain stamp set. I first applied some anti-static powder, then inked up the stamp with Versamark ink, and now I'm just going to stamp directly on the strip. Then I'll remove the strip, and then I will dip it into some white embossing powder. And this will add a nice wood grain texture to these posts, just to add a little bit more interest to the stand that I'm going to create for my mailbox. So I just heat set that, and now I'm going to repeat this process for the remaining two posts. And as you can see here, if I can get the camera to, or the light to catch a little bit, it adds just a nice little texture, definitely a little bit more visible um, in real life, but I do really like the little bit of texture it adds. So now I'm going to move on to creating our background. So I have a piece of contact paper here that I cut with a die from the scenery die set, and I'm just going to place it down onto an A2 um, panel of white cardstock and do a little ink blending to create a really pretty um, cloudy kind of sky. I have Waffle Flowers New Fish and Pond, which is a really beautiful aqua, and here's where we're incorporating that aqua that's on the stamps and the dress. I just keep repositioning this mask here, and um, it's contact paper is a little bit sticky, so it sticks really nicely, um, and it doesn't pull off as well. And I have actually re this is. Um, a mask that I have been reusing a lot. I haven't, I made this once and I have continued to reuse it um, as long as it holds and it's still sticky. I don't have to remake another one. I really do uh, love using contact paper as masks, especially with dyes. They just, it just works so well. And I'm just going to finish up here and that completes my beautiful little soft ink blended cloudy sky. This is going to go behind the mailbox and just add a nice little detail to the card. I'm now going to move on to stamping my sentiment on to the front of the card. This is the Sweet Sentiment stamp set. I love this set. There's so many gorgeous sentiments and for a bunch of different occasions, so a really useful sentiment set. I just inked this up in VersaFine Onyx Black ink, stamped it onto the front of my card. It says, Love You Forever. And the sentiment or the stamp set comes with a My Friend, and I'm going to stamp that right above my Love You Forever. So it just says, my friend, love you forever. Cute little sentiment, I think, to go with this kind of Valentine. And I love that this could be sent to a friend as well. So I'm now going to kind of assemble this card. So I've got some, I've just glued down the little mailbox flag. Now I'm going to glue down my um, background onto my card base. You, of course, could have just blended this right onto the card base. I thought of that later. <laughs> and now I'm going to adhere kind of construct my posts here. So I'm going to start with one. This is going to be the at the bottom of the mailbox. Just kind of glue that down. And then I'm going to angle this one underneath and I kind of realized that afterwards. So I just lifted up my top piece a little bit here, then tucked my angle one underneath and then stuck them back down. Now I'm going to grab a pair, pair of scissors and just cut off the excess just run that blade right along the edge of the card. It really makes it very easy to cut off the excess with a kind of a long blade scissors. Now I'm going to glue down this last post here. It goes right to the very side. This is going to be on the back side of or near the back side of the mailbox. And again, just cut off the excess here. And now my little stand for my mailbox is all done. Now I'm just going to adhere my mailbox right onto my card front. And again, I wanted to point out that this mailbox die cuts out a place for you to tuck in, like you tuck in right in there where I'm going to put my mail, your um, gift card, which is super cute. But I'm going to fill mine today with mail. And I'm going to actually end up covering up that little notch that will hold your gift card. So you wouldn't even know that this was also intended to hold a gift card. So it's a very versatile kind of cute little set. So I'm now going to adhere all my little envelopes here, kind of arrange them. This is going to be a very loaded mailbox. And I'm tucking and lifting them up and kind of just positioning them here so I get kind of a nice arrangement of envelopes and a good um, balance of color. I do want to avoid covering up any of those stamped postage stamps. 
um, those are going to help kind of incorporate that stamped image. I'm sure you guys have noticed that sometimes when you create a card and you've only included like one stamped image, it seems a little off balance. So I tried to get a little bit more stamped images into this card design and that um, came to be or came about with the um, the little postage stamps included in the sending glove stamp set. So I'm almost done here. I got all my um, envelopes kind of positioned, trying not to cover up that last postage stamp too much by my cute little mouse here. And once I get that la last envelope arranged, I'm going to add a very thin piece of um, foam tape to the back side of my little mouse here. Uh, Thermo Web has some really great foam tape that's or foam. It, adhesive that's really kind of on the thinner side which is great for when you don't want something so thick and then I just stuck her down and as you can see she is totally hidden behind the door of the mailbox which I think is really cool because what a cute surprise to open up that mailbox and find that cute little mouse in there as well as a whole bunch of colorful valentine envelopes just really cute and I hope you can kind of see some of the details here as I hold up the camera the cute little riveted marks around the mailbox and the texture that we have on our posts it's a really fun card and I think kind of an interactive card with that cute little opening of the mailbox I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you want any more information on the products I use, please check out Waffle Flower. And you can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.